Hey there, this is Todd at Biz Ladder. This video is going to talk about setting up local delivery options in your Wix store. So let's jump right in. First thing you want to do is head over to your dashboard into settings. If you already have the store installed, the Wix store app, you're going to see a e-commerce and finance settings and then shipping and fulfillment. So go ahead and click into there. Select which region you're going to add local delivery to. And then scroll down to local delivery, add local delivery. Let's go over some of these options in here. First things are pretty straightforward. The area name, how much you're going to charge, and if you need a, a minimum required, uh, minimum purchase amount in order to offer local delivery. Next thing you're going to do is define your local delivery area. You can set up more than one local delivery area per region. So you can add a radius around your address, your, your warehouse. You can add specific zip codes. So let's just say, oh, let's go 9210. Be sure to hit enter or tab to get it to appear there. You can also use wildcards. There are lists of, of US zip codes online. Uh, your carrier, UPS, FedEx, even US Post Office will provide those as well. So uh, I recommend being specific in your delivery area. A radius will set up kind of these weird kind of uh, uh, cutoff points that may be like in the middle of a house or certainly in the middle of a town or a city. So when possible, I recommend using specific zip codes. Of course, this really just depends obviously on how far you want your drivers to head out to deliver, okay? So we'll go ahead and let's just set up a wild card. Now you can set up your days and times. You can do an estimated delivery date. So you can just say, uh, yeah, one to two days. And that'll show up. I'm gonna drag a, an image into the screen here. That'll show up in the shipping method as one to two day delivery in your specific area. And that's, that name is what you typed in up here. Or you can set specific delivery days and times, okay? And when you set specific delivery days and times, let me drag another image in, here we go. The user can then select when they want it delivered. They can effectively schedule the day they want it delivered. It's not so much as the hour, but they can choose a day to have it delivered. This is really important to be aware of if you don't want customers deciding when their order or their shipment is delivered. All right. And then you can set up any any timing and, and lag in your in your fulfillment. Same day, next day, minimum. You can change the number of days here, obviously. I don't know why it holds as two days there. You can see minimum number of business days, take, prepare, and deliver an order. Let's just make the same day, and it has a cutoff time, right? There's a little more information there, but that's pretty straightforward. Scroll there. Anyway, let's add the area, and you'll see. Oops, I guess I gotta name it. You can see my test delivery area has been added and the type. I can then edit or remove that and I can add another delivery area, area, excuse me. I don't know the max number of delivery areas we can add. This is a brand new feature as, as of the time of writing um, and recording this video. So if you know the max number of delivery areas, go ahead and put it in the comments. That would be great information to know. You can also add a local pickup option, right? This has always been there. It's pretty straightforward. But the new feature as of recording this video is local delivery areas. And that's it. Any questions, reach out.